I've been bringing you information all week on where to drop off storm debris. I'm your neighborhood reporter John Brown in Washington County, where neighbors here have limited options on where to dump stuff that's not trees. I'll never ever get the sound of the tornado out of my head. The, the whole aftermath, it's, it's unreal. Last Friday's tornadoes left Chad Burnham's and other yards full of debris. It's a lot of work. <laughs> there's just, there's debris, there's buildings destroyed, there's trees everywhere, there's debris scattered everywhere. It's just, it's just a lot. I mean, it's. He lives in Washington County, which has three locations that accept tree debris. But Washington County Emergency Management told me that they do not have any areas to drop off other debris because they do not have any landfills in the county and do not own property where that kind of stuff can be accepted. Trying to come up with a solution, Greg and Joe Coolis rented a dumpster to slowly start cleaning the debris off their yard. I have no idea what it costs. I don't know if the insurance is going to pay for it. I have no idea, but at this point, it just needs to be done. If you cannot rent or access a dumpster, the county says that you should move anything other than trees to the edge of your property. And they're working on a plan to address this issue soon. For now, the coolest says they're determined to clean up and keep this as their home. Oh, we'll stay here. We'll, 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 this is where we're going to This is live. our home. This is where we're going to stay. Washington County will be having a tornado recovery town hall Friday at 5.30 p.m. at the Kennard Auditorium in Kennard to hear neighbors' concerns and provide updates about the recovery process. In Washington County, I'm John Brown, your neighborhood reporter.